Welcome to Survival Guns. Today I'm going to talk about the Spyderco Snap It, the model C26. It was discontinued since uh, 2002, I believe, but they're available on the used market, and that's how I picked this one up. And uh, this is part four of my everyday carry knives, because I do often carry this one. And if you want to see the other knives, I have another uh, couple Spydercos and a Benchmade uh, that I carry um, uh, during my uh, everyday carry rotation. Alright, so this is a very interesting knife because it has a, it's called a snap it, but it has a, uh, a clip a clip on. Very useful for those who are mountain climbing or any kind of um, uh, situation where they want to take a loop or a ring and attach this to a vest and, and have them with it on the outside of their body for, for a quick access. Uh, EMTs, a lot of different uses for that. It comes with a fully serrated uh, blade. The blade happens to be uh, AUS 8 steel, uh, stainless steel. A uh, pretty, pretty good steel, not the uh, really high end, but it, uh, really good edge holding capabilities and the great stainless steel. Really aggressive sharp serrations on there, really good for cutting cord, seat belts, uh, any kind of um, material boxes or whatever. It does uh, short work of that. The blade is around uh, 3 inches. Uh, much less of the useful blade part because the the clip does get in, in the way when you're cutting things up to here. And what I really like about it is um, what I do is I like to carry a knife on the offhand side in case your um, your strong hand is injured or something and you can't go to your gun if you if you carry a gun or your main knife. This gun is great. This uh, knife is great if you have um, on your left hand side. What I do is I actually clip this onto uh, my belt loop on the off side of my pants. And I can quickly show you, for instance, on here. So this is my offside. So what I do is I just have this um, clipped on here on the belt loop. And it just hangs down. And um, actually, that would be backwards for how I'm using it. When I put it on my left hand, it goes on the right way like this. So this way, it just hangs there. And it's usually covered by a shirt, um, a polo shirt or something. And if I had to, I could just take my left hand and uh, go like this, and it opens uh, opens right up. You can't open it all the way with your left hand because this is um, righty friendly and not really lefty friendly. Uh, but in an emergency, you surely can get that open all the way. It is a locked back design. And uh, here is the locked back right here. Very easy to deploy, very easy to release the lock. It's made of uh, fiber, fiberglass reinforced nylon. This one happens to be red, but I've seen them in black as well. It's a really light 2.4 ounces, so you, you, you don't even know you're carrying it. I've also carried this on a tactical vest on the loop, and it's really nice to, and easy to get, uh, to get to. Really aggressive um, serrations for cutting things. On the Ricasso here, has a little bit of a choil in case you want to choke up on the blade with your index finger. I don't like doing that too much in case your hand slips, but it does have that there. A nice big ramp right here for your um, thumb in case uh, you're thrusting or want to do uh, close-in work, which works really nicely. The center are, looks like rubberized inserts. It's actually craton, so it's a really good purchase on, on the grips here on both sides. Looks like rivets are holding it together on like screws. And there is a, a lanyard hole here, which is uh, very useful as well. Right across here, it says U.S. Foreign Patents is written right here on this little plastic, plastic part. So the pros and cons. The pros would be um, really accessible on the outside of clothing and other kind of gear with the, the snap it. The snap it. Uh, one of the pros too, this is very strong, so that's going to really hold on, and, and I've never had that come out. The hook itself, as you can see, a little bit of metal on the tip, is actually metal reinforced, not just plastic. So very rugged design. There is no liner inside, however. Most Spydercos have big liners inside here. This doesn't have that to reduce weight. So it wouldn't be quite as strong if you're going to pry things or something like that. I wouldn't want to do lateral strength movements with that. Um, the blade has, uh, it's a hollow ground blade, so that's extremely sharp for cutting through things because of the hollow ground. It's got a little bit of a belly on the clip point blade. This has, uh, the Craton actually has uh, little gripping surfaces in it. So if you can find that used, I would highly recommend it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching Survival Guns. And that's it for the Spyderco Snap at C26.